dumating na yung point na sobrang napagod na talaga ako. I tried to rest the way I wanted and that is absolutely not God's way in my life. Akala ko mamamatay na ako. I am Hazel Ann Cuevas from Rizal 2 District and this time you will hear a different story of my relationship with God. I have been serving the Lord in the ministry for 8 years and I have always been grateful about everything since I decided to commit my life to Him. Ang pagpili ko sa Panginoon ang isang bagay na hindi hindi ko pagsisisihang ginawa ko sa buong buhay ko. Since then, favors, blessings, wisdom, I have received all of them without me asking for it. Basta ang alam ko lang, inuuna at pinaglilingkuran ko ang Diyos. I enjoyed it and put my heart in service for God's glory. My life changed, my family accepted my passion in my relationship with God, jobs are haunting me, disciples are rising under my care, the ministry entrusted to me is growing as well, and everything seemed to be so smooth and perfect. For the past years of working in the Kingdom of God, I have willingly given my time and energy to be excellent in everything that I do for the Lord. When it comes to God, I'm always serious, until I have been entrusted with more. More finances, more disciples, more ministry loads, more family expectations, and more expectations from myself. Inside and outside the Kingdom of God, Gusto ko laging malinis ang trabaho ko kasi lagi kong iniisip na si Lord ang boss ko sa lahat. Kilos dito, kilos doon, galaw dito, galaw doon. Until year 2017 when I experienced series of seizures that caused me to resign to my first job in Taguig. The same thing happened to me with my new work the year 2018. And on my third job the year 2019 before Christmas came, I experienced a severe kind of headache that made me unable to sleep for two straight weeks. This pulled the trigger on my health issue that I kept on ignoring since then. I always think of my physical health the least as long as I'm doing my best in everything that I need to do. Nakalimutan ko na hindi nga pala sa akin ang katawan at buhay na meron ako ngayon. Pinahiram nga lang pala ng Panginoon. Then, I started to undergo lab tests on January 2020. Different impressions about my real condition arose. 2020 has been a very rough journey for us, personally to me. Noong nagsimula ang lockdown, I haven't got the chance to finish my lab test. I stopped taking medications as well dahil hindi pa ako makabalik ng hospital that time. Kasabay ng health struggles ko ang pressure sa professional job ko. Na-experience kong lagnatin, mawalan ng panlasa, a sore throat for a week pero after undergoing a swab test, praise God, negative naman ang result. I finally got back to work the next week after almost a month of rest. Pero pagka-uwi ko galing sa muling pagbabalik sa trabaho ko, an unprecedented event happened. Nakaramdam ako ng sobrang panlalamig sa katawan and as my mother woke and touched me, dun ko lang nalaman na inaapoy na pala ako ng lagnat. 40 degrees Celsius and around 11 p.m. I woke up kasi nahihirapan na akong huminga. Sumisigaw na ako that time pero walang nakakarnig sa akin mula sa kwarto ko. Kala ko talaga mamamatay na ako. I can feel my whole family panicking. I can hear them crying and trying to encourage me. It was a time na hindi ko na maramdaman ang katawan ko. So, I entrusted everything to God. Until I heard my mother begging to me. Nagmamakaawa siya na lumaban ako with her face so close to mine while crying. Sabi ko, Lord, this isn't the time. I need to stay alive and fight for my family's salvation. And so, I try so hard to move and stop from crying. After an hour of struggling, the longest night of my life has finally ended. And I am still alive. I spent the next day resting in my room. Last September 9, my final MRI result came and I was diagnosed with focal-aware seizures. Doctor says I need to undergo medications for life. Then, he recommended me to have a month of bed rest due to the medicine's possible effect to my body. Before I had my one-month rest, nagpaalam ako sa mga leaders ko. I endorsed my ministry tasks and responsibilities, even my cell group to my potential disciples. I really had given myself a time to finally rest. From everything, admittingly, even to my personal relationship with God. Yes, I tried to rest the way I wanted, and that is absolutely not God's way in my life. Bago pa man ako mag-seizure last August, I can already feel that different kind of tiredness inside me, not just physically, but also spiritually. One thing I never entertained in my Christian journey for the past 8 years, knowing that many people see me as a strong leader. Sabi ko, lahat naman tayo may pinagdadaanan, Lahat naman siguro tayo napapagod and eventually sabi ko, nilipas din tong pagod ko. 
But this fight of mine, especially under the effects of the current pandemic, just keeps getting tougher and tougher. And I found myself on the losing side. I was overcome by fear, was tempted to bounce back on my faith, at tuluyan ng bumitaw. I made my sickness a reason for my spiritual commitment to die down. As the month of September ends, I lost my job, and I saw myself missing sa kulungan ako mismo ang nagtayo. The symptoms of depression are knocking to me once again. I shut myself off from the people around me, even to my friends and leaders inside the church. I don't do my devotions anymore, not submitting to my leaders, not even praying. After a month, my co-leaders in Rizal too visited me. At kahit ayoko talaga ng kausap that time, I still welcome them and talk to them. I think really is God's purpose na makausap nila ako at finally ma-open ko ang sarili ko. As I released myself, that's the only time I realized I wasn't okay. From then on, I started to reconcile and submit to my leaders again. One thing that serves as my greatest reminder of this pandemic is that the church is our godly family. And no matter how big and heavy our problem is, ang kabigatan natin ay kabigatan na rin nila. That is when I appreciated this family more. I know the Lord never left me through my ups and downs. And He can use so many people in our lives to remind us that we are still loved. God is telling me na wala na talaga akong dahilan para subukan pang umalis sa presensya niya. Ngayon, sa tulong ng mga leaders ko, tuluyan na po akong nakabalik muli sa service as campus ministry advisor. And I even started an online business that is now running for four months already. Favors came when I was offered jobs without me really looking for it. Giving everything for the Lord is never wrong. Pero hindi ba mas masarap maglingkod sa Panginoon kung may sapat pa tayong lakas para maibigay sa Kanya ang lahat? Let us not be like Martha who's so busy serving the king but has no time to talk to him intimately. It says in the Bible in Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. May we not fail to see that seeking God first is by letting him do his way and not doing it by our own might. Again, I'm Hazel Ann Cuevas and I am proud to be part of this spiritual family.